guys. I think I forgot to vlog this morning. It's Sunday, July 7th, uh, 3.07 p.m. Thanks to the computer, I know what day and time it is. I've spent the morning chatting with friends, working on projects. I um, did some colored hot glue embellishments, which will be in an upcoming video. Um, I didn't film this batch. I wanted to try it first, so I will be doing another batch on camera, and we'll, I'll, show, I'll walk you through what I did and what not to do. I also tried some more art brittle, this time using my UV resin and my UV lamp, inspired by my friend Leslie uh, McGrath over at Leslie's Creative Studio. I will link her video in the description below. Um, she um, took my video and went off with it and she did a great job and I have UV resin I just don't use it often so anyway it was pretty cool I also found that I had a bunch of these little tiny like fruit shapes I think they're actually nail embellishments I think I got them on wish or something like a while ago anyway I put them in resin they're pretty cute I also did like she did and I put some in bottle caps some I was able to take out of the bottle cap like this one some won't come out but that's fine I do think I'm going to get some more molding compound and make sort of a bottle cap shaped mold to do some little embellishments in. I think that's a good idea. So anyway, I am going to go take a break and go downstairs and I will be back. Good morning, everybody. It is more, still morning, I think, anyways. 11.49 a.m. July 8th. Just barely morning. But anyways, I've spent the morning filming a bunch of YouTube videos, uh, mostly short ones. One... Um, video for explorations of me for this month and um, I have a couple more to film and then the month is done um, but I need to want to get out of the house for a bit so I'm going to do that I need to get to the store and run a bunch of errands and there's nothing like finding a bunch of glasses <laughs> none of which are strong enough for you anymore you know, it's a wonder I can't read the daily drawing prompt words without using the camera on my phone to enlarge the words. All, most of my glasses aren't strong enough anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, I gotta get some more reading glasses while I'm out. Because <laughs> now I only have two pair. One of which works well, and the other one which is, I think, gonna still be slightly too weak. So, that's a thing. Uh, we've had some, a death in the family, unfortunately, um, not my immediate family, but extended family, but somebody who's close to me as a sister, she knows who she is, and I'm so sorry. My thoughts and prayers are with you, and if you need anything, you know I'll be there at a moment's notice. Um, but I understand you want some quiet and privacy, and I get that, so I'm here when you need me. Um, or your girls, they just need to call me. Um, what else? I got some paperwork done. I need to sweep the art room floor. The art room floor is pretty gross. And I need to clean off some shelves um, on either end of the table because they've, I've just been piling stuff up there. But I'm going to go run my errands first and I'm going to get out of the house. I'll bring you with me if anything interesting happens. All right, I'll be back. Did y'all hear that? He rolled his eyes and said, oh God, because I've got the camera on again. Yeah, I'm vlogging. So I got... Hey guys, it's Thursday, July something. Um, July 9th, I had to count, yes I had to count. It's 3.53 p.m. I only know that because the clock is in the car, hello. And hopefully it's correct and accurate. Um, I spent the morning editing video and chatting with friends while I was doing that. I edited and am currently uploading 13 videos to YouTube. Commit morning. It is Wednesday, July 10th, maybe? Um, yeah, 10th. I had to count again. It's 9.45 a.m. 
Hello, I'm in the car and I have the clock. Um, well, we're going out for a walk. It's been raining, it's overcast. We could get drenched. We don't care. So, we'll be back. Did y'all see the bunny? I'll zoom in for you if I can. How cool is that? See that big, that there behind me? I think that's a blackberries. It's a big giant mass of hedges. And you won't be able to see him. He's back there. He's back there, way back, way back there. He's out again. But I guess there's a whole bunch of rabbits that live in those. And we saw one. If you're watching this, you've seen the clip of him. And I'll zoom in as much as I can. So, yeah. Pretty of course, cool. we also have to contend with this. Because, you know, it's tick season. It's nothing like taking an accidental picture of yourself. Good morning, everybody. It's still morning, technically. Looking at the computer, it's July 11th. 10:24 a.m. I've spent most of the morning once I had two cups of coffee in me uh, and got dressed. Well, technically I was doing some stuff before when I was still in my pajamas, but anyway, I digress. I spent the morning making sure I was caffeinated. Number one, that's the number one thing. And then I was doing a bunch of stuff on social media. I was updating Patreon, so for those that don't know, one of the ways I have available for you all to support the free content is I have I do have a Patreon. Um, it's a little sad Patreon because I only have one member, but you know, got to start somewhere. Um, but there's a lot of free content over there for patrons um, at all tier levels, and there's also links to all patron for all patrons to advanced um, showings or availability of YouTube videos. Um, so I usually load the video to Dropbox somewhere and then I make a post on Patreon um, with the link um, so that you guys can go over there and watch it. So uh, I did that this morning. I linked uh, four more videos this morning and I put in a couple of new digital downloads for everybody over there this morning. And uh, yeah, so that's all done. And then I did all the social media thing. And to be honest, I don't remember if I've said before or not, but we did have a death in the family uh, last over the weekend, and um, this last weekend. And um, I was, we do have a closed family Facebook group where everybody can keep in contact and ask questions, share family photos, old family recipes, um, news and events, sad and happy. So I was over there for a bit this morning doing some admin work and in a couple of other groups too. So I have all of that done, I think. I do need to st start typing again on the family recipes. Um, at least the ones that are in English, not in Italian. <laughs> the ones that are in Italian, I've got to get my aunt or someone else who speaks Italian to translate for me. Um, I can't even use Google Translate because they're handwritten, so they're, some of them are pretty hard to read. Anyway, now I need to go to the grocery store. I need to get groceries. I need to get a sympathy card for my cousin who lost her husband, and um, when Bob gets home tonight, we're going to order some funeral flowers. We can't be there for the funeral. It's on Tuesday. Um, it would cost us about two grand to get there, um, and we're only in Portland, and they're in California. It's not like it's a long flight. The price is just ridiculous. So, um, but we're gonna send our um, well wish, our sympathies, well wishes. Hello. Maybe I need more coffee. <laughs> uh, we're gonna send our sympathies and send some flowers, and I'll make sure afterwards when things calm down that I contact her. I have been texting her and sending her my love. She knows she's got my support. So, um, and her daughters too. So anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm going to grab the grocery list, put some shoes on, and head to the store. I think for once this week, it might be a little bit blue skied outside. Yeah, I see some blue. It's been cloudy and drizzly, rainy, muggy all uh, week. Not cold. It's been actually kind of warm, uh, but humid and wet, so, you know. It's all right. I don't mind as long as it's not too hot. I can handle anything except super hot weather. All right, let's get to it, shall we? I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It's Friday morning, July 12th, 10.27 a.m. Don't get excited. I'm looking at the computer. Um, 
So anyway, uh, I already got my social media and stuff done this morning and a few other small things including wrapping up some new stencils that came in, some for inventory replenishment and then also the charity stencils came in for the charity auction we're going to be having. Um, I haven't released the designs to the public yet and um, at least I don't think I have. Maybe I have? I don't remember anyway. Um, all or some of them will probably be limited edition stencils only for the charity auction and only re-released when we have another such like event. Fun fact. So if you want one of them, you're gonna have to put some money into the auction. And again, it's to help someone in our community whose husband is suffering from cancer. He's in stage four from what I understand. If you know who I'm talking about, please don't mention their name. I'm trying to respect their privacy, but at the same time, I know they're struggling, so I'm trying to give them a hand. So, some of my friends and design team members have donated some finished art and also some supplies. I'm putting in some stencils. I may throw in a few other things. I'm gonna start gathering boxes together now and taping some boxes. I have a big spare room in the other end of the house, and so I'm gonna start lining boxes up and putting things in them and yeah, getting things ready to be photographed and listed. So let's get to it, shall we?
Okay, so I think for now the boxes are packed. Um, if you don't want a box full of um, parts, supplies, and some original art, there will be a limited number of the stencils available in my Etsy shop. All proceeds, except the cost of shipping, will be going to the family in need. Um, we have seven boxes that will be listed for auction. I think we're going to do the auction through eBay. My daughter's going to help me because I haven't sold anything on eBay in literally decades. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> um, the stencils won't be listed in the Etsy shop until um, the eBay auction is ready to go live. In the meantime, here are a preview of some of the, uh, well, of all of the designs um, here. And there's some pretty cool designs, actually. Yeah. So there's going to be a limited way to get them. And that's going to be it, I think. Um, I did this morning update my Etsy shop and all orders $35 or more are free shipping in the USA only and I think coming soon I'm going to be offering at least for the stencils if you are of a mind to have naked stencils what does that mean no packaging no product insert, no plastic, not even the glycine bag or wax paper bag. If you want to save a little money and have your stencils shipped to you naked, um, you get a dollar off each stencil if you choose naked stencils. So um, I'm going to be updating the shop at some point. I do have 87 stencil listings. So that's a lot for me to edit. If you're shopping in the Etsy shop and you're seeing this and I haven't updated the listings yet and you want naked stencils, just put something in the comments of your order when you place your order and I will refund. Um, how it's going to work on all the orders even after I edit the shop is I will refund the dollar for anybody who says they want their stencils shipped naked. So there you go. So naked just means limited product packaging. Um... I think that's it for the moment. I need, think I need to sit down and have some water. I'm glistening again. <laughs> uh, maybe turn on a fan and yeah, relax for a minute. Maybe have some lunch because it's probably that time. All right, I'll be back. No, I haven't gotten down for lunch yet. <laughs> I should say if I haven't yet, and I don't think I did, that some of what I was putting in the box um, were purge supplies. I had a box under my desk and as I was working on projects and or going through bins, um, you know, once I moved here to the new house, um, at the old house, things at some point I got tired of purging and things just got packed and sent. Um, but now that I've been here for a few months and I'm working on projects, I'm going through bins and finding things that no longer serve. Not that there's anything wrong with them. Things I made or maybe somebody else made and sent me in happy mail. Things I did. We used to do a lot of swaps over in Crazy Island Family, if y'all remember Crazy Island Family. Um, I did swaps with a few YouTubers and things like that. Anyway, as I came across things that no longer serve me, or maybe I used a little bit of it, like some of the word stickers, and then the rest of what was on there didn't inspire anything, I would throw them in this box under the table. And at some point, I always intended to sell the box, give the box away. In this case, we are packing everything that was in that box. That's part of what's going in the auction boxes, along with some of the boxes have some books in them. One of them has a Mindy Lacefield book in it, um, and I think that's the only sort of art-ish type book, I think. One has an old vintage speedball calligraphy book in it, and the and some of the others have sort of help self-help creative life books in it. Not my book, but other people's books. Um, I think one of them is a signed copy from Melinda Kutsona on how to um, sell your art and price your art. So anyway, um, so that's some of what's in the boxes. So yeah, we're going to get some pictures here shortly and hopefully get those auctions up at ASAP. All right, now I think it might be time for lunch. All right, I'll hey be guys, back. we are, um, it, I should say, it is Saturday, July, I almost said June. July, is it? July 13th? 13th? Yes. It's 12, 17 p.m. Why haven't I vlogged earlier? No reason, just because. Not like I know. I'm scared. 
Excuse me. Eating our bushes and our plants in our front yard. Yeah. Well, you could put some corn back out. Oh, yeah, he's eating the flowers. Holy cow. This is why we put corn out, people. I said, this is in our driveway. By our front door, by our front walkway. He's like, yeah, aunt. What are you gonna do about it? Are they dude? yummy? Are they delicious? I'm eating my flowers. Are they delicious? This is why we put out corn. And delectable. Hey guys, it is early evening. Uh, still on Saturday. What day did we decide it was? The thirteenth. Anyway, um, what did I do with the rest of my day once we went shopping? Not much. <laughs> I almost fell asleep on the couch after lunch. Um, I did get my paper clip and tag made for today, um, so yay. If you want to see what I do um, with regards to daily art, you can follow me on social media. I post things every day. Um, where to find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, um, along with my the places you can support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups along with a whole bunch of other stuff including my website and just a ton of stuff is in the link tree list of links which is in the description below click on the link that says link tree and you will find me everywhere uh, my happy mail address is down there too anyway we went shopping and i found some um, wood scrabble tiles which i'm gonna do some art with and um, an old player piano paper reel not super old one so I don't feel so bad about cutting it apart a newer one but yay cool paper and um, the bridge score sheets and um, a really cool t-shirt which is in the laundry um, don't usually buy clothes at the thrift shop not that there's anything wrong with that I just usually don't find anything in my size that I like um, but this was really cool so anyway we're gonna just hang out around the house and chill and I am out here in the side yard because I've got recycling to sort and stuff and yeah I haven't cleaned off the table yet I did intend on cleaning off my table today because at this point I've been doing sort of mixed media collagey things and the table's a disaster but it's just gonna have to stay that way because I just don't feel like cleaning it right now anyway that's it for the moment um, and the week I think don't forget to like share and subscribe I will link any relevant links in the comments below if I miss something you all leave something in the comments on the video and I will, um, I just screwed that up, didn't I? I will leave any relevant links in the description below, not the comments below. Holy cow. I told you I'm tired. I don't know what the deal is. Um, anyway, um, please leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments below. If um, I forget anything, put it down there. Uh, I think that's it for this week. Don't forget the most important thing. Go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Fred and I will see you later. Bye, guys.